This is a review of our topics from this week. We're finding the area and circumference of a circle. We've got the averages, the mean, the median, the mode, and finding the range, and bar charts. Finding the circumference of a circle. To find the circumference of a circle, so circumference, we can use one of two formulas, either pi times the diameter, pi times d, or two times pi times the radius. It doesn't matter which one we use, they are the same, they get the same answer. So this first question says, find the circumference of the circle. It's got a diameter of 10 meters. So the diameter is from one side of the circle to the other, from one part of the circumference to the other side, going through the center. So how can we work out the circumference? If we use pi times d, it's going to be pi times 10. And if we're leaving our answer in terms of pi, we just write that as 10 pi. We write pi times 10 as 10 pi. And it's a length. The circumference is the perimeter of a circle. So it's in meters. Here's a question for you to try. So give this one a go. So this time we've been given the radius as eight centimeters. So we can either use two times pi times the radius, two times pi times eight, or we could double the radius to get the diameter. So the diameter will be two eighths. A diameter is two radiuses. So the diameter is 16 centimeters for this circle. And we're giving our answer to one decimal place. So we can just type this in the calculator. So 2 times pi times 8. And that's 16 pi. Or if we press the S to D button, we've got 50.26548 and so on. We want to give our answer to one decimal place. So we look at the second decimal place. If it's five or above, we round up. So we're going to round up. So it becomes 50.3. So 50.3. And that's in centimeters to one decimal place. To find the area of a circle, the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared, pi r squared. In this first example, we've got a diameter of 14 millimeters. A radius is half of a diameter, so that will be seven millimeters. So the area is gonna be pi times seven squared. And we're giving our answer to one decimal place. So I'm gonna type this one in the calculator, pi, times 7 squared, which comes up as 49 pi in terms of pi, and press the S to D button to one decimal place, we've got 153.9. So 153.9, we measure area in squares, so it's millimeters squared to one decimal place. One for you to try, so give that a go. So we're told the radius is nine centimeters and the area is pi times the radius squared. So pi times nine squared, nine squared is 81. So pi times 81, we can write as 81 pi. And it's in centimeters squared. And averages, we've got the mean, the median, the mode, and the range. The mean, the median, and the mode are three different types of averages. And the range is a measure of how spread out the data is. So we've got some number cards. We've got seven different cards here. And we need to find the range. The range is the biggest, take away the smallest. So the biggest number is nine. 
The smallest one is 2. So the range is 9 take away 2, which is 7. The mode is the most common number. So which number appears the most often? So we've got two nines, and we don't have two of any other number. So nine is the mode. Nine is the most common number, the number that appears most often. To find the median, that's the middle number, but we're not going to say it's three, because we need to put the numbers in order first. So we need to order the numbers first. So let's say two is the lowest then 3, then 5, then 6, then 8, and then we've got 9, 9. So what's the middle number? Well, we can cross off from both sides, cross off 3 from both sides, and we're left with 6 in the middle. So 6 is the median, 6 is the middle number. And finally, to find the mean, we add up all the numbers and divide by how many there are. So we're going to do 9 plus 2 plus 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 5 divided by 7. There are 7 numbers. So to find the mean, we add up all the numbers and divide by how many there are. So I'm going to type this in the calculator. 9 plus 2 plus 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 5 divided by 7 and that is 6. So the range is the biggest number take away the smallest number. The mode is the one that appears most times. The median is the middle number and the mean is when you add up all the numbers and divide by how many there are. So a question for you to try, give this one a go. So the range is the biggest number, take away the smallest number. So the biggest number is 9. The smallest is 1. 9 take away 1 is 8. The mode, the number that appears most times, that's 1. There are three ones, and there aren't three of anything else. The median is the middle number, so let's put them in order first. So we've got three ones. We haven't got a two, a three, or a four. We've got a five, a seven, two eights, and a nine. So we cross off from both sides, and if we cross off three from both sides, we're left with two numbers in the middle. So what's the middle number? We go halfway. So halfway between the two numbers that are left, halfway between five and seven, which is six. So six is the median. And if we've got more difficult numbers, if it's harder to work out, we can add them up and divide them by two. So to find the median, we go halfway in between the two numbers that are left in the middle. And to do that, we can add them up and half them. And finally, the mean. So we're gonna add up all the numbers. One plus five plus seven plus eight plus one plus nine plus eight plus one, divided by eight numbers this time. And we've got 5, so the mean is 5. And the bar chart, here is a bar chart showing how some year 7 students and some year 8 students got to school. 8 year 8 students came to school in a car. Use this information to complete the bar chart. So we've got car. The year eight students so at the moment we've got we've got a dual bar chart so for walking 
there's a separate bar for year seven and year eight and there's a key to show which one is year seven and which one's year eight so the missing part is the year eight students going to school by car we're told that's eight so we can draw that bar on and the key says year eight has to have a diagonal line so we can draw that onto the bar so a diagonal line shows that it is year eight so that is our bar chart completed then part b says how many more students came to school in a car than in a bus so how many students in total came to school in a bus four year sevens three year eights Four plus three is seven. So seven went in the bus. And for the car, we've got seven and eight. Seven year sevens, eight year eights. Seven plus eight is 15. So 15 came to school in a car. So how many more came to school in the car? 15 take away seven is eight so eight more and finally we're drawing a bar chart so we've got the favorite color of some students we've got red blue green and yellow and we've got the frequency so how many picked each color so we need to draw our bar chart so we're going to have our frequency going up the side six seven eight nine we'll go up to 10 and then along the bottom we're going to have the different colors and we need to go from we'll go at least zero to nine for the frequency and for the colors along the bottom we're going to leave a gap between each of the bars so we'll have red, and then a gap, blue, and then a gap, green, and then a gap, and then yellow. So we need to label frequency up the side, and color on the bottom. So now we're ready to draw the bars. So red is nine, nine people. So the red bar goes up to nine. Blue is five. The blue bar goes up to five. Green is four. And yellow is eight. So that is our bar chart. So that was our review. There is an assessment now available. The link will be in the description or at the bottom of the page on the website.